Can a 29 coin size tracker help you find the lost cat? As a cat parent, I've never experienced anything as heart wrenching as losing Mia. And it becomes particularly stressful when it happens while you're traveling in a foreign country with stray dogs on the loose. This is the exact situation I found myself into a couple months back. I was traveling with a few friends in Mexico and while we were dining out, Mia decided to just escape the hotel room and go for a walk. The overwhelming feeling of helplessness was unbearable. Just picture this. Going back to your cabin, it's pitch black. You enter the room and you hear nothing. It looks like your cat is not there, but that can be happening to you, right? She was wearing a collar with an AirTag. And while Apple doesn't recommend using AirTag for pets, it helped me find my cat. I would like to share with you why I believe Apple doesn't want people using AirTag for their pets, but also how it helped me recover my cat, Mia. A GPS tracker would have solved that in a breeze, but they are bulky, quite expensive, and most of the times they require a monthly fee that becomes useless if you're not traveling all the time. That's when I started considering the AirTag to track my cat, Mia. But the question is, can a 29 coin size tracker help you find the lost cat? If you don't have an iPhone, don't worry. This video is applicable to you as well because there are alternatives in the market that work with Samsung and other devices. All the information about the products that I talk in this video are available in the description box down below. This video is going to be divided in three parts. What's an AirTag and how it works, the main benefits and flaws, of AirTags, and finally, how I used an AirTag to recover my lost cat in Mexico. We're shooting a video, you know? Do you need attention? Yes? She heard that I was talking about her and she's like, I gotta be part of this. You have something to say? You wanna grab the mic and say something? Make sure you stay until the end of the video because there's a few reasons why Apple doesn't want people using AirTags to recover their pets. Those reasons are linked with the flaws that this device has and you don't wanna make mistakes when expecting to recover your pet thanks to an AirTag and then realizing that it's not exactly what you thought it would be. Uh. <laughs> yep, good start. Apple AirTag, it's a small circular disc-shaped device that uses Apple's Find My Network to help you keep track of and find your belongings. You can attach your AirTag to any object and use the Find My app on your iPhone or your iPad to help you find those objects. The AirTag uses Bluetooth technology to connect with nearby Apple devices. Apple recommends using AirTags to track objects, not people or pets. And while AirTags are not flawless, Apple said that it's mostly to protect the company from legal action, but it did help me recover my cat, and I personally believe that it's too good to be true. To use an AirTag on your cat, you will need three things. An AirTag, an AirTag holder, and a collar. Remember that collars have to be break away for them to be safe for cats. Again, I'll add the links of the ones that I use in the description box down below. Once the AirTag is on the holder and the holder is secured to the cat collar, you can put the collar on your cat. Once the AirTag is connected to your phone and you're trying to recover your pet, three things can happen. The best case scenario, I am close enough to the AirTag and the AirTag connects via Bluetooth with my phone. Also because there's other Apple devices in the area, Apple can triangulate exactly where the cat is. An arrow will appear on your screen, even pointing you to the direction and indicating how far your cat is from you. The second best case is when your phone can connect to the AirTag via Bluetooth, but there's no other devices that will help you exactly triangulate where your cat is. This is scenario is still very good for two main reasons. Means that your cat eats relatively close because the Bluetooth range of these devices is around 30 feet. The second reason that makes this the second best scenario is that once you're connected to your AirTag via Bluetooth, you can activate the AirTag to produce a sound. It's not very loud, but it's better than nothing and it can help you locate your cat even if they're hiding. Luckily, if the cat gets out of range, the AirTag can still provide you some value, giving you a general sense of your cat's whereabouts. When you cannot directly connect with your cat via Bluetooth, you will need to turn the lost mode on your AirTag. You can do this through the Find My app on your iPhone. When you activate the lost mode and your cat gets within Bluetooth range of any 
any Apple device, that device is going to upload your cat's last location to the cloud. Then your phone, using the Find My app, it's going to download that location and it's going to tell you where your cat was seen for the last time. Also, if someone gets close enough to your AirTag, they can retrieve your personal information and the phone that you will have input it there. So they will have the chance to call you and let you know that they found your cat. Before I used the AirTag when traveling with me, I did a few tests around the house and I learned some of the biggest flaws when we're trying to use AirTags to track a pet. The first one is that when you put a collar on a cat, it has to be a breakaway collar. This means that if your cat escapes and for whatever reason they lose the collar, your phone is going to help you find the AirTag and therefore the collar, but not necessarily your cat. The second flaw is that when you are in a big open space, the Bluetooth range gets reduced quite drastically, making it almost impossible for your phone to connect to the AirTag via Bluetooth, unless you're almost on top of it. And in that case, you would already see your cat. The third flaw is that whenever you have the lost mode activation, if another device sees the AirTag, it's going to send you the last location where that phone saw the AirTag, but it's not going to give you a moving dot like we're used to on Google Maps. And finally, the fourth flaw, and to me the most important one, is that if you're in the middle of the mountain and there's no other Apple devices or houses, even if your cat is wearing an AirTag, there's no way for you to connect your phone or other devices with the AirTag, and therefore you're never going to learn your cat's location unless your cat gets near people or near a house. Said this, and while air tags are not flawless, Mia was wearing an air tag when she got lost in Mexico. And that made a huge difference in helping me find her. So I'm gonna share with you step by step exactly what I did to recover my cat using the air tag. When I arrived at the hotel room, the room felt kind of empty, quiet. While immediately a cold sweat sensation inundated my body, I know that 80% of cats that get lost are found within the house or within the backyard. So the first thing that I did was a thorough research inside the hotel room. I grabbed a few treats and I started calling her by her name and nothing happened. I immediately grabbed my phone and opened the Find My app. If she was inside the room or anywhere nearby, the AirTag would connect via Bluetooth to my phone and I would be able to know exactly where she is. It did not happen. <laughs> getting goosebumps. At that point, I knew that Mia was not in the room. I got into panic mode and I went outside. I told my friends that Mia was not there and we all started calling her by her name with treats and trying to not sound panicked because if you sound panicked, your cat is likely not going to show up. I turned the air tech into lost mode and I started walking around the areas that Mia already knew because we were walking there with the harness and the leash that same morning. After 10 minutes that felt like a lifetime, it finally happened. I received a notification saying that an iPhone had located me nearby. Oh my, the relief. Only 50% of the job was done, but Mia was somewhere and at least I had a location that I could go to to continue my search. I checked the location on the map and started walking towards her. While I was walking towards the location, my phone got connected to the AirTag. Mia was within 30 feet of where I was. I still could not see her, so I decided to play a sound. And then I heard it. She was just on top of a fence, staring at me, completely chill, enjoying her time out. I walked calmly towards her and without much effort, I put the harness on her and with me on my shoulder, we walk back to the hotel. I am not saying that if your cat is wearing an air tag, there's no way you're gonna lose them, but I am saying that if your cat is wearing an air tag, your chances of finding them if they get lost increase drastically. The best way to never lose a cat is to walk them outdoors using a harness and a leash. This is something that I've been doing for the last three years and I've learned a lot from it. Seeing the joy in Mia's eyes when we're walking on a leash it's invaluable. So watch this video next to teach your cat how to walk on a leash. Stay wild, stay safe, and I'll see you outdoors.